hi guys welcome back to the channel um today i'm going to be doing another mod tutorial installation video for the sims 4 today i'm doing one that was suggested in the comments it's the mc command center mod i never heard of this mod and let me tell you it is such a useful mod i'm so glad that they requested it to me because like oh my god but yeah, we're going to get straight into the video. There is no WinRAR needed, no external files. It's literally just your game, your mods folder, and the mod itself. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go straight into the description and click the link. But if it doesn't work for anyone out there, I'm just going to do it from scratch. So you're going to want to search MC Command Center. It should be the top one. You're going to want to go over to where it says MCCC Downloads. And you're going to want to click MC Command Center. And then you want to make sure the date is the most recent one. Because obviously Sims update quite a lot. Once you click that it will start downloading. But whilst it's downloading you want to go over to your documents. And then click Electronic Arts. The Sims 4. Mods. And then it will be your mods folder will be here. You want to click New. And then you just want to call it anything you'll recognize it by, just in case it needs an update. So this is going to be where we store the file. And if this mod gets updated, you'll literally just go in here, delete the old one and pop the new one in. So this is done downloading now. So we'll drag that onto our desktop. Close that down. What you're going to want to do is right click it. You want to go down to where it says extract all. And then click browse. And then go to your documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, mods. And then the MC folder we've just created, you want to click in there and then click select folder, extract. And then these files should appear now in your mods folder inside the MC folder. And that is literally it. All you need to do for anyone who's not done mods before is just follow the next steps here and go into your game and we'll make sure it works right for you guys. Okay, so when you launch the game, you should get this little mods box and this is basically just telling you every mod you've got installed inside the specific folder. So you just want to tick that and then you want to go over to your game options. Well, your options first, then your game options and then go to where it says other and then just make sure your script mods allowed are ticked and the enable custom content and mods are ticked. And then just click apply changes it might make you restart the game just to enable the mods if you've not done them before but then i'm just going to jump in and just show you really quickly how you can use it okay so when you jump into your game it should come up with just a little thing here just telling you the mods you've got installed um but yeah basically how you use it is you literally just click on your sim and then it should be ignore the wicked whims <laughs> that is from another tutorial video guys i promise um, it'll just be the MC command center and then you click on that and you can do so much for it. You can go straight into create a sim and change their outfits and stuff. You can do the cheats where you can give them followers, increase funds, make them happy, literally everything. So I do really recommend this mod. Just download it and have a play around with it. It can change so much and it just makes everything so much easier it comes up with everything here the career like it's just so easy so yeah guys that is today's video uh, please let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you want any more content coming let me know what kind of content you'd like please like and subscribe um oh sorry i just cracked my hand <laughs> but yeah that's today's video I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye.